Hello, my marvellous sausages. Now, I'm going to show you the locations of all of the oracles. So, I'm going to show you the two last week and the two new ones this week. But I'm also going to show you the location of the blights that you need to shoot in order to complete the catalyst missions. Now, there's been two sets of blights so far, so I'll show you the location of both of those. Now, as I'm showing you the locations of the blights and the oracles, you're going to notice my mission timer changing from the uh, legend to the normal. The reason for this, of course, is because you can only shoot the Blights on the Legend level and you need the actual Whisper of the Worm to do it. So that's why you'll see the cutting between the Normal Timer and the Legend Timer. My advice is just start a Legend run so you can get the Blights and the Oracles in one run. But don't look at that run as something you're going to complete and get to the boss. Just look at it as using it to collect all the collectibles so you can get the schematics for the ship. Which is this, of course. This is the Carve of the Worm. So I found four there already and there's three left to get. But don't forget as well, the oracles do get you the white nail intrinsic perks down here, like for the whisper. So you should be getting just one of these now per week, really. So I've got two. I'm gonna have just had three this week, and there's just number four to get. So then, first off, we need to go to Eris, collect the new Smell whisper the mission from her the there for the oh, catalyst. Man. And you'll notice the first part of it, even if it's the week you're doing before, or this one, you've got to kill 30 Taken. Now, the best place to do this is the Aphelion's Rest Lost Sector, because there's loads and loads of Thrall, Shadow Thrall, just in the beginning of that. So what you want to do is go in there, shoot them. You can see that you're getting the Taken Essence. They don't come every time, and you don't need to use the Whisper to do it. You just need to have it equipped in the equipment slot. So make sure you've got that set. And then once you've done that, make your kills, and uh, you'll get that done really really quickly i wouldn't even bother going back through to the boss area because i found they were dropping less frequently there once you've killed those two waves of thralls at the beginning go back out come back in again and do them and that will do the 30 nice and easy and then the next step is to go into the legend version of the whisper mission in order to get the blights to complete the catalyst right so here we are in the uh, legend mission uh, so first of all notice the time is considerably shorter only 20 minutes so you need to kind of leg it as we're going through these bits here. So uh, we're going to take a thrall, yes, as we're going. Now then, as we get into this room here, you've probably noticed there's a little, like a little cube over there. Shoot the cube, and that will then uh, put a platform in here, and we can see the blights appear. Now there's three to shoot. So we've got one in front of us right there, obs. Then we've got, an <laughs> we've got another one all the way over there. And then we do have another one as well, which is hidden by that really annoying pampas grasper there. But we should be able to shoot it through. You can just see it there. If you're having trouble shooting it, though, you can jump up onto the ledge there. Hello, team, up there on the ledge. So let me show you. We'll shoot one. Ta very much. Let's shoot two. I missed. <laughs> Hang on. Shoot the dark bit in the middle. Yes. Now let's see if I can get away with shooting the pampas grass one from here. There it is. One, two, three. Yes, there we go. Right, so next, of course, we have to continue on. A bit of a cut there because this is a di different run now. Uh, but you can shoot the blight. This gets you actually into the dungeon, as you all well know. Now, you want to jump down here, break your ankles. Lovely, thanks very much. And now we're going to go and find the first blight, okay, which happened last week. So you want to come along here, and then just as you come out to the red room... Now, the oracle is going to be on your left. Uh, it's pretty easy to find. I've already collected this one, but I'll cut to a bit of footage here. You want to stay on the on the ledge, just on the lip, turn around, and it's going to be there. Here it is. Look, here's me shooting it in the past. Right, for the next one, continue on. And now we're going to go over to the uh, that ready bit over there. And we're going to make our way through. You know, there's like a pushy, slidey block puzzle area. So we'll go over there. Just be careful not to get shoved off here. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. And we're going to drop down onto that sticky out bit there. I find just to, you know, gently touch your way down. Watch out for the pushy out things. It'll do your head in if you get pushed off with these things. Because it's tricky to know exactly where they come from. But you do kind of get used to it, I suppose. Right, jump down here. And we're going to land on this little outcrop here. Over here we go, and we're going to go around the corner, over onto the red section. Lovely little red section, yes. Very handy for them to light the way to go, isn't it? Imagine it was all pitch black. It would be really tr tricky to do. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, on the shelf there. This is the tricky one I mentioned in the tips earlier. Just to edge your way around. And then we're going to make our way through to the edge of the blocks, keeping a constant eye out for the black parts and the red parts. 
The red parts are where you can stand in because they're kind of bathed in the uh, Stranger Things red light. There, stop and see. Two more blocks to get through. Go over here. And we'll just stop there at this darker part. Here it comes. There we go. Slide back in again. And over to this dark part. And in it goes. And then we're just going to jump our way across. And don't forget, if you're having trouble with your jumping, you can give a, get a bit of help by shooting the uh, shooting the doodah there. But I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to jump over. Because I not I haven't even changed my weapons. And that I'll be there until Christmas. Trying to shoot it with this submachine gun. Okay, over the globules. And onto the little uh, lisp here. And this is the lift. You've got to be careful. Don't get too excited and jump on the lift straight away. Because whenever I want to jump on the lift, it always goes up. Wait for it to go down. And then just land on gently again. Uh, and uh, we're going to go up now. And we're going to land on this ledge here, which is where we're going. Watch out for the that stupid thing popping out again. Yes. Uh, good. Now then, uh, we turn left up there to carry on with the mission. But we're not going there. We're just going to go a little bit further on. Onto this ledge here. And onto this ledge here. There we go. So we spin around and then you can see a faint light up here into the right. Jump around it in and there we go. Here is the second oracle. Marvellous. Right, so next blight is in the jumpy red room. So we've got to jump out of here and then we've got to go along the, uh, the funhouse bit. You know the one I mean. Yes, everyone loves it. Uh, just jump over here and the funhouse bit is up here. Uh, now this really, I've kind of done this quite a bit now, and uh, the way to do it is just to run straight through, but wait for the doodars to pop up and pop down like that. Look, so I just wait for that. There we are. Move through, move through if you can. Move through, move through. There we are. That's the way to do it. Just use the ridge as a ledge. And now we're into the area where the next blight is going to be. So we've got to jump right the way to the end, a little hole as we normally would. So let's get going up here. Careful when you get this side. You do get a sniper shooting you. So just, just be careful. Be very careful. You seem shooting me already. And of course, we've got a little uh, boot cannon there. Let's whittle past that. Stand up. We're going to jump off here. We don't need to worry about that boot cannon. We can land on here as well. You do get the second knob end over there, look. So you can kind of ignore him, really. He will shoot you once, but... Oh, no! Don't worry, he's put us back here, look. You sodding sod. I can't help myself. I can't help myself. I hate his guts. Oh, shove off. Right, so he's dead. So we want to jump over here. Just remember to land just on the ledge if you can. Boom, that's lovely. Get in the room so you don't have a panic. Because sometimes the door can just push you out. And what you want to do is you want to shoot. The door will keep on coming down. And the reason why I don't stand on that side is the door can hit you and boing you out, which can be very irritating. So crouch. Get your whisper out. We don't actually need a whisper for this. Uh, shoot that, and you'll find then we've got an extension here. And this little bit has appeared here. Sorry, the whisper is only for the... Uh, only for the catalyst. So there we go. There's the third oracle. There you go. We can just shoot it with any random weapon. There we go. White nail three. Now, I don't know if you remember last week, but people were getting all of those all in one go, maybe. Well, that was a cock up and a bug, and it shouldn't have happened. So you should be getting one per thingy. So next, we're going to go on now to the, uh, to the final oracle, which is a bit of jumping in the old uh, green room, which is just at the end here. So I'll show you how to do the jumping puzzle. I have uh, done a video on the jumping section in its entirety. So if you want to look at all that, I'll leave a link for it at the end. Uh, but this one, we just need to jump through the one on the far right. Look here. Ignore that sniper turd who's coming in there. to just shoot you up ass. Right, so in this room, we're going to do everything that we need to do. So you come into this on Legend and panic that you have to finish it on Legend. You don't necessarily have to to get these bits and bobs. But here we are. Here's the catalyst bits. So what we want to do is hunt these babies down. There's only three of them, and you can see them all already. Remember, you can only shoot them with your whisper. So the first one, have a look, is all the way up there, look. So we'll shoot that one there. Lovely. And the next one is a bit further down. Where is it? Hang on, I need to get a bead on the baby. It's right in the middle. And that one's gone. And then the third one there. Boom. There we are. Lovely. That one's gone as well. 
So from this point now, you get the next step. We have to go and complete it on Legendary 2. Uh, but what I'm going to show you now is where the final oracle is for this week, the fourth oracle. And we're going to do the jumping puzzle in this room, which means men wending your merry way all the way over there. So let me show you how to do this. Ugh. So you want to jump up on this bow lock here, first of all. Look, there we are. That's good. So what, what we need to do is jump over there. So let's just get our jumping trousers on. Uh, and get that there. And then we're jumping up here onto this little ridge here. And then we're going to turn a little bit and look up. And we're going to go to this ridge here. Jump on that there. Turn around. Look up and onto this ridge here. And then we're going to jump right the way around to the edge here. Okay, but just sort of plop down gently here. Yes, there we go. Good, good. And now we're going to jump up to here. I'm just being cautious. Uh and then we're jumping up here, which is nice. Turn around, and then we're going to jump up here and land on the grass there. And then we're going to jump straight up again, and we're going to go forward and land on the ridge there. And then we can jump over and land on this little ridge here. Be careful, it wedges out a little bit. Right, we're going to make our way around now, so we can see the next piece of grass is just there. So we want to land on that. Carefully, carefully. Next bit of grass is here. Jump on there. And then the next bit of grass is just up here. You can go there, but I'm just going to be cautious. Land on this one. And then we're going to jump up here and land on this one. Gently float down. Then we're going over and landing on this one here. The next one can push you off. Not because there's anything there. It's just because of the angle of the wall. So be very careful and land gently on here so you don't bounce off the wall and bounce off to your death. Right, you can see we've got some bits of grass there. So we're heading on to those next. Just gently land down, lovely. Jump over here. Cut off and jump again and land down there. Ooh, that was a close one. Straight over to this next bit of grass. I think that little bit is a bit deceiving. Yes, okay, good. That's lovely. And then we're going to jump up, I believe. Are we Are we up, up and out? I can't, I can't remember. Where is it? There it is over there, look. Hang on a second. So I'm not going to jump just yet. Sometimes you forget. We're jumping over to there. Yes. Nice. And then we're jumping up there. Bit of twitchy grass. Lovely. All the way along now. And we're going to go up to that corner bit there. Take your time. There's no rush. Take your time, son. Take your time. Uh, over here to the next twiddly bit of grass. We land gently on here as well. Don't look down. You'll poo yourself. Now we're going to jump down into the crevice here. And then we're going to land on this bit of grass here. And then in here, you're going to find the fourth oracle. And that's the fourth one this week. Lovely, eh? Great. Bang, she's gone. But also in here, you've got another Vex cube look. And what that does is if you've got people coming with you who aren't very good at jumping, shoot that cube and it adds extra pathways all along. So you can see there's that they're bigger. All these are bigger here, look. Uh, and they're bigger there as well. So that is very good. Don't go break my ankles now. Oh, sugar! I fell down into the throwaway. This is also a brilliant place to come and get farm kills. Huzzah! So yes, there we go. There is the four oracles and also the new set of catalysts this week too. So there's two sets of those all together. Now, of course, you've got to do this on Legendary to actually unlock the catalyst upgrade. I'd thoroughly recommend going to Fire Team Finder if you haven't got a Fire Team. It's a lot easier with a Fire Team because there's a very tight time limit on uh, Whisper of the Worm in Legend. It can be quite frustrating. I haven't managed to do it myself yet, but I use a Fire Team to get the Legend done. It's pretty easy with three of you. So once you've done that, it unlocks the No Distractions perk that you can stick on your Whisper if you like. And then you can go and have a bit of a fiddle around with that. And I just want to say another massive thank you to Deathnell and the Scribble Wizard who helped me get through those legends nice and easy so we can see exactly what our lovely prize is. Thank you team, you've been totally marvellous. Now if you are having trouble with the jumping puzzle, I've got a guide solely about the jumping puzzle which you're going to find a great help. I'll link that here on the screen and I just want to say thank you everybody watching the video. It really 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 helps me out if you give me a like and a subscribe as well if you want to see more of my junk. Anyway, off I go now. Thank you so much for watching, and I shall speak to you all again very soon. Sausage, hurt.